this lecture we are going to learn about non deterministic finite automata or in short known as nfa okay so here so we have learned till now about deterministic finite automata okay so where when you are in some state let's say p and you get a symbol a from alphabet sigma then you go to a unique state let's say q but in case of non deterministic finite automata so it gives you multiple options so on getting in state p if you get a symbol a you can go to state q1 q2 q3 and so on okay let's say till q k where all these q1 till q k belongs to q so they are a subset of q so it's not a unique decision but there are multiple options okay so this is the beauty of non deterministic automata so let's try to learn a bit few things so what we see is that a non deterministic finite automata for each state there can be zero one two or more transitions corresponding to a particular state okay so you can go for example let's say string that starts with a okay start with a let's try to see the nfa for it so example is starts with a and our sigma is a comma b so here what happens or let's say ends with a instead of this ends with a so what happens now let's try to show you with an example so a comma b a and this is done so this is a find nfa for strings that ends with a so initially you see here in state q not this is q not q1 so i can move on a i can be in my state q not or i can go to q1 also with b i remain in just one state and here you see on q1 i don't have any transition so if you have a or a b you go to a dead configuration okay so these are some of the things that we need to note so the first thing is you have multiple transitions okay so when i get an a i can even go from q not i can go to q1 or from q not i can remain in q not on seeing an a and the next thing is like on in q1 i don't accept anything okay so if you get anything you will go to a dead configuration and it will be rejected the string will be rejected so nfa gets to state with more than one possible transitions corresponding to the input symbol and that's called a branch so from q not if i get an a i can branch out to q not using this or i can go to q1 okay so there is a kind of branching let's now try to see further in nfa so again i talked about so in nfa goes to a state where there is no valid transition so for example we saw a comma b and on a ending with a so here there is no valid transition so if you get something after this it will die the branch dies okay so it will not be accepted so these are a few things to note and let's see about acceptance okay how are the things accepted so nfa it accepts the input string okay so if it accepts if there exists some choice of transitions that lead to ending of an that leads to ending in an accept state okay so for example again taking the same example a comma b a here so this example let's say uh, this is an nfa for string ending in a so let's take for example a b a a so now what happens if you see i get an a i am at q not this is q1 so let's take a b a 
so on q not i see an a i can go to q not i can go to q1 okay now i get a b b is my second option so second uh, symbol on seeing a b at q not i will remain at q not on seeing a b at q1 it goes to a dead state a dead configuration it's rejected on q not i saw a b and then i see an a so again i can go to q not or i can go to q1 if i go to q1 this is a accept state so this one way is there q not a i get q not i remain in q not then i get a b i remain in q not then i get a a i go to q1 so this is accepted so even if one of the options okay so the input string if there is ex exists even a one choice of transition or you can have many choices that lead to a accept state then it is fine thus one accepting branch is enough for the overall overall nfa to accept so one even one accepting branch so there is a one path that goes to accepting state then it is fine but every branch must reject for the and what will happen if i want that it should be rejected then each branch should reject it all the possibilities if none of them is accepting it then only it is rejected and even if one of them accepts it is accepted so now we will look with some concrete example so here we have nfa for in a binary string okay so 0 1 that so sigma is your 0 1 that contains two consecutive zeros or two consecutive ones as a substring okay so let's try to make a dfa for this so it accepts two consecutive zeros so this is there accepted two consecutive ones it is accepted i get initially zero one anything that is fine okay and then again after getting two zeros to one i get anything that is fine let's name these q0 q1 q2 q3 now let's try to see how the branching takes place so this is there for a uh, nfa for string that accept two consecutive zeros or ones now let's try to figure it out so i have a string 0 1 1 0 okay let's try to see what the how it proceeds so how the branching takes place q naught i am here i get zero so at zero i can move to q naught itself i can go to q1 i see a one so on one at q naught i can remain at q naught or i can go to q2 at q1 if i receive a 1 uh, then i go to dead state okay dead configuration and at q0 here if i receive 1 again so q0 i receive a 1 i can be at q0 i can be at q2 okay is that fine here at q2 if i receive a 1 i go to q3 just one option okay and then i get a 0 so q0 i get a 0 i can be at q0 i can go to q1 at q2 if i receive a 0 i go to dead configuration q3 i receive a 0 uh, I go to Q3 itself. So now let's try to analyze is this string accepted? So Q3 is the accepted state. I'm here at Q3. And is there any other Q3? Only one Q3 is there. Okay. So only one way it is accepted. So it was 
zero i remained here one one and then zero okay zero one one zero zero one one zero so what happened here this one zero i remained at q naught one i remained at q naught one i went to q2 but it was not sufficient okay so this shows that it is accepted why because i have one path okay i have one such path where it's going to be accepted but if there was no none no path which accepted this then your nfa it was the uh, string was not accepted shall we try out one more example here a smaller one so let's say 0 1 1 0 1 is that fine i start from q naught i see a 1 so on seeing a 1 i can remain at q naught i can go to which one so i can go to q2 okay I see a zero, Q naught. I see a zero. I can remain at Q naught. I can go to Q one, Q two. If I'm at Q two, I see a zero. I go to dead configuration. Q naught. I see a one. I remain at Q naught. I go to Q two, Q one. I see a one. Uh, the path dies okay so q1 i see a one it is dead configuration so so now so it's rejected so one zero one and so i am in q naught q naught five five so it's all none of the path is accepting so this is rejected here so this is rejected so you see that for all this in whole tree we could not find even one path where it was accepted but if you find at least one path then it's here okay done if in fact we can try out 0 0 1 1 what will happen it will have two path i think okay so will you try that out so let's try that out for you so it is let's see what was it zero zero one one so q naught this is q1 q2 q3 zero one zero comma one okay if this is there now let's try out for zero zero one one how many you will might have multiple acceptance so i start from q naught okay and then on seeing a zero i can be at zero or after seeing a zero i can be at q1 on seeing a zero again i can again go to q naught q1 at q1 on seeing a zero q1 on seeing a zero i can go to q3 or at only one option is there okay now at q naught i see a one so i can go to q naught or i can go to q2 again here i am there so q1 i see a one it goes to dead state mm, q naught q2 is there i see q naught i see a one i can again go to q naught or q2 q2 i see a one i go to q3 so now let's try to analyze this one so q3 is here and q3 is here so there were two ways in which we could come so this is one path okay and another is this one q2 on one okay so this one so there were two paths through which it was accepted so more than one just one is sufficient okay for accepting but here you got two such cases so now this is for nfa 
so it basically tells that you have multiple options and one thing is so we have a state q the transition function so you have number of states alphabet q naught delta and final state so what is the difference the delta here it's a function from q to q cross this one sigma and it goes to 2 to the power of mod q okay so it can be any subset so here for example if i am at q naught so i can remain at q naught i can go to q1 i can go to q2 i can go to q3 so all these possibilities are there so basically and you can it's a subset of this so it's uh, from q0 q1 q2 q3 you can choose like one is you cannot choose anything so a dead state here on okay so that's there or it can be q0 q1 q2 q3 single single states it can be two states q0 q1 q0 q2 q0 q3 then q1 q2 q1 q3 then q2 q3 like this or it can be q0 q1 q2 q0 q1 q3 q0 q2 q3 and so on okay so it, there are uh, so here we have 4c0 plus 4c1 plus 4c2 4c3 plus 4c4 option which is 2 to the power of 4 so this is the idea so you have a subset of q okay when we have the transition so delta in case of dfa we were having q cross sigma it was going to q but here q cross sigma it goes to 2 to the power of mod q okay states so i hope you understand this thanks a lot